Hi everyone, Chris Wallachy here, and today we're going to talk about solving the most difficult and complex problems that have three to five variables. We're going to use the Excel three-dimensional graphics tool called the XY Scatter Graph with the Bubble Graph formatting option. The first example is going to be selecting a new restaurant at your entertainment complex. However, this is only a framework for any major decision that requires a portfolio gap solution. So let's work on the problem. Here, I have two restaurants, a steak and a deli restaurant with some data. What you do is you highlight your data, you go up top, you click on insert, and there is a scatter graph option in charts here, but you could also find it by selecting recommended charts, all charts, the scatter graph, and the bubble graph happens to be on the top right. Double click on that, and you've created a three-dimensional data chart and why is it three-dimensional it's because you have price along the y-axis I have decided to use casualness or upscale in terms of the restaurant along the x-axis and the size of the bubbles represent seating size so you can obviously see here's the deli and here's the steakhouse so let's add some labeling to this graphic and all I've done is I've used that same graphic but added a couple lines so there's now there's quadrants and I've added text boxes and arrows. So you can see the, the price and the casualness along the bottom. With that, we're gonna step it up and add more restaurants. So now you can see the portfolio. What you have is a deli, a buffet, a sports bar, and a steak restaurant. It's nice to visualize how they fit among these three dimensions with this graphics option. So let's add a restaurant. And where are we gonna add a restaurant? I think you can see the gap. So there, here's our new restaurant. This could be a casual restaurant. And what it does is it completes the gap. So if you have a portfolio type of situation, this will allow you to see the gap and then to fill the gap. Kicking it up one more time, going from three dimension. Now this happens to show four dimensions. We've added color and color could represent the profitability of the restaurant. So the steak restaurant is green. And to do that, you're gonna to have to add the color manually. You left click on the charts twice and right click, click on format the, the data, and that'll give you the option to change the colors. But you can see the steak restaurant is more profitable down to the buffet, which is a burnt orange color, which is less profitable. One more step up, and now we've entered the fifth dimension. I've added a line surrounding the bubble chart and that could represent the criticalness of the restaurant to the organization so you need a steak restaurant you need a sports bar and you need a deli those are critical so there you have it uh, it's taking some information showing it to you in a more visual fashion but let's do another example and this one is going to be a little more complex and what it is it's an IT example for artificial intelligence trying to understand your projects at hand and what is your priority? So what we've done is made this table that shows automation, which is a little easier. So it's shown in green. Then there's cognitive insight, which is shown in a yellow and then an orange at the bottom, which is engagement. This happened to be an MBA project for my IT course. And what you have is you list out your projects from robot vacuum to customer service at the bottom, uh, which is more engagement. So. Once you have your list, you can subjectively assign numbers to the dimensions. So he, the timeline will be a dimension, and obviously robot vacuums, again, at the top is an easy one, so the timeline is going to be quick. And the difficulty is also low. The scoring is from 1 to 10. And then there's the cost of third dimension, and the fourth dimension is going to be, is it critical to the organization? So here's the table. And looking at it, it's a little complex to absorb everything that's happening and to visualize what the priority are for your organization. So let's click on the graphic. There you go. I've added only a few of the topics, but you can really start to understand. You can see the quadrant three has the most difficult and the longest. However, they also happen to be uh, the most critical to the organization since the color is shown. The size is the actual cost so they're the most costly let's kick it up here's the full portfolio I've given you 
in your Excel download 15 variables and there it is. Um, again, really useful to see all of the uh, variables shown in a visual format. Um, what's playing in the background, by the way, is Aquarius by the fifth dimension. So talking about the fifth dimension, how do we add a fifth dimension uh, to this graphic? Well, you would left click on one of the bubble charts twice, click, click. And then what you could do is right click, uh, format the data point, and to the right, you could pick adding a solid line. I'm picking the color red and I'm gonna make it pretty thick. I'm gonna make it seven points. So I'm gonna click seven, hit enter, and there you have it. This. 3D scatter graph bubble option now has five dimensions in total. I, I hope you consider letting the sun shine in on your analysis by using a fifth dimension. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you try an XY scatter bubble graph to help you solve your next complex problem.